I'm Ashton Addison from Event Chain for Investment Pitch Media and the Crypto Coin Show. And today on Blockchain Interviews, we have Dr. Hack of Utopia, the decentralized ecosystem. Dr. Hack, welcome to the show and thanks for taking the time to be here. Uh, thank you for having me here. It's a pleasure. I'm really excited for our discussion today. There's a lot to talk about with Utopia. I'd love if you could kick it off by giving an overview of what exactly is the Utopia platform and the vision and the purpose of the platform. Sure. Uh, before I explain the vision and purpose of Utopia, I will need to explain Utopia and I will do it in a one liner. Uh, Utopia is an all in one kit for secure instant messaging, encrypted email, communication, anonymous payments and private web browsing. Utopia has a very straightforward vision, and that is the protection of basic human rights in regards to the privacy of communication and the freedom of self-expression. Uh, Utopia is a platform which is self-regulating, which ensures online privacy and freedom. Mm -hmm. uh, about purposes, it has many purposes. Now, uh, Utopia is not just an application, rather it is an ecosystem as you introduced during your introduction. And the reason why it's called an ecosystem is due to its ability to provide a set of tools and features which enable its users to perform all their online activities without having to leave the platform. Mm. From chatting with users to setting up channels based on your interest and requirement to using its integral true privacy coin known as Krypton. Um, Cryptoin can be used to make and receive payments and the purpose of integrating it right into the platform is to enable users to stay anonymous because they will not have to leave the platform for any of their tasks. We all know that selected individuals and companies make billions of dollars from our data, but with whose consent they do that? Have we ever wondered what there is? That there's not even a single online social media platform which gives us an option that I can pay a monthly fee and I won't, it won't show me any targeted ad and they won't use our data for their own goals. It seems weird, but that is a fact because they need our interest to make money out of it. Mm -hmm. That's a very interesting uh, predicament that we are in right now with these social ecosystems. And you're right, you, you aren't able to just have a paid version where you don't have your data sold. Um, so, and, and it seems like it's becoming more and more of an issue uh, each, each day, each month, each year. So I'm glad that Utopia is proposing these, these different kinds of solutions where privacy is a major factor um, that those users care about. Now, can you dive into a little bit on how does Utopia protect users' privacy? Sure. Uh, currently, governments, in partnership with the world's largest IT corporations, have a goal of complete information supremacy over the world. To achieve their goals, government have been ready to take every unlawful and unethical step necessary to intercept and analyze every single bit of data that is sent over any network. Uh, Utopia works in a fashion so that same control can be given back to the users. Uh, Utopia being a decentralized peer-to-peer -peer platform with no central server, which is regulating or monitoring its users. Uh, Utopia has uses its uh, mining, which is based uh, on uh, proof of memory and proof of routing to provide stability to the network. And as the number of mining nodes increase, that same stability increases along with it. Hmm. Well, that's great. And Th this is a major problem, and there are other solutions as well that are trying to solve these same problems. Is there something about the Utopia ecosystem that is unique and different from other security conscious platforms? There are various platforms on the internet which give you limited privacy. Uh, the issue with all those platforms is that the user always has to leave that particular platform and jump to another to avail the same level of privacy to perform another task. Mm -hmm. Because there is no such platform which can be labeled as an ecosystem like Utopia. Tor allows you to bro browse websites with anonymity. But we all know how some famous online stores were shut down by using an exploit in the browser extension and uh, compromised exit or nodes is known by all. It's a disaster. Mm -hmm. uh, Monero, on another hand, uh, is a private coin, but we have seen cases where users have been traced as all the users have to at least use one or more services from the clear net. That is the weak part. Utopia solves this issue by providing each and every feature under one application. 
either you want to chat send or receive a payment you can do that without being worried about exposing yourself for example a whistleblower can very easily send documents to a journalist inside utopia and he can be tipped by that journalist with the integral cryptocurrency krypton without having to leave the platform at any time mm -hmm. apart from all these factors i just mentioned uh, one more reason i like to highlight what makes utopia peer to peer ecosystem unique as a platform so for security and privacy minded individual is that even the most novice of users can achieve the highest grade of security and privacy uh, for a variety of function that others would require very advanced level of competency to achieve through their uh, fragmented software and services mm -hmm. definitely and i like that point about the journalists uh, transferring information privately and allowing to have that freedom of speech within the platform that's something that's been a major topic of discussion around the whole world um, and now with this communication uh, there also is, with the security and the privacy, it's under some form of encryption. Can you talk about, does it use blockchain technology or cryptography and what kind of encryption uh, and how that security portion works and protects that privacy? Sure. All the user data account is stored on Utopia's user's local device. It is not on the cloud. It is not anywhere. When I make an account, my data is in my computer. It is in an encrypted file using 256-bit AES encryption. Uh, that is known as a container. One cannot log in without the encrypted container, giving added protection to the user data, thus ensuring privacy. If I have my username and password, I will still need my container to log into my account. The many features of Utopia, including instant messaging, encrypted email, file sharing, group chats, channels, games, website hosting, and digital currency, they are all protected by Curve 25519 elliptic curve cryptography, which offers a 128-bit security bit and is one of the fastest ECC curve and more resistant to the weak number random generator. It makes it next to impossible for any sort of invasive attacks, including man-in-the-middle attacks on the network or its users. Hmm. Great. Thank you. Dr. Hack for that. And my next question is, are there any restrictions uh, to who can use the network? Uh, being a decentralized platform, applying restrictions is out of scope and it's technically not possible. Mm -hmm. uh, channel creators, however, can have their rules and manually enforce them. That uh, is their own domain because it's their own channel. They can have their own set of rules inside that channel and they can uh, moderate those channels however they see fit. Mm -hmm. Definitely. And are you, and the platform's been live for a while now, uh, is the community, I know it's a decentralized ecosystem, so there really isn't any company that, that's running it. It's just an ecosystem that's running itself. But is there any incentivization or user adoption um, to from the early community in there to help grow Utopia? Or is it more of an organic growth and people are just finding it as a solution to problems that they have? Basically, there are two uh, avenues uh, for this. Uh, one is the community and one is commercial. Uh, for the community part, due to the private and secure nature of the ecosystem, which is free of censorship and surveillance, it is attracting flourishing communities from around the world. These communities will naturally grow over time as they find benefit in numerous functions of Utopia. And as uh, industries also find it useful and Utopia will attract talented developers and business development, commercial opportunities will expand, leading to a virtuous cycle of users and builders. But all this will happen on their own organically and naturally. Mm -hmm. Now, at the beginning, you mentioned Krypton, the CRP native token, which is used inside the ecosystem. Can you talk about the functions uh, of that coin and can it also be used outside of the ecosystem or is it on the markets and, and, and what, what functionality is the primary function of CRP? Uh, CRP is currently listed uh, on few exchanges and uh, talks are also going on to list it in uh, more uh, exchanges. Uh, it can, Krypton is the integral currency of Utopia. Uh, it is used for every aspect and every other aspect. For example, uh, there's a, a UNS uh, which we use to register NFTs. It's um, a sort of a uh, it's an identification thing. Like if I, if my alias is Dr. Hack, I have Dr. Hack registered against my name. If mm -hmm. I have to make a website inside Utopia, I'll have to register that UNS. It can be a normal mm -hmm. domain as well. For example, I took the liberty of uh, registering uh, eventchain.io and uh, CryptoCoin uh, talk your two domains. And whenever you will join Utopia, I'll transfer them to you. Oh. So uh, <laughs> these things, these things are bought from Krypton. 
Mm -hmm. uh, all the payments are sent inside uh, Utopia. The wallets are inside Utopia client, and all these are sent uh, inside Utopia. But they are also traded on exchanges. Anyone can buy it in mm -hmm. an exchange as well, and then he can transfer it from in, in any other cryptocurrency they like. Mm -hmm. That's great, and thank you for that. That's uh, that's impressive. Uh, that you have our domains already and ready for us. Now, what has been the response from the community members inside Utopia um, with the response of, of CRP, how it functions and how it's growing within the ecosystem? Uh, users have responded very positively towards uh, CRP, Krypton, uh, especially those who had the pleasure of using it and seeing how private and immediate transfers are. Uh, early on, new users who mined Krypton would ask how they could exchange it for USDT or BTC. But more recently, users have been declared their intent never to sell it and watch it grow too many times in its uh, current price. Uh, mm -hmm. People are beginning to recognize the long-term value, and uh, many are comparing themselves to the early Bitcoin investors and adopters. The concept is unique and users find it the same way. Users like the fact that they are on a platform which is free from any prying eyes and Krypton being the integral part of the ecosystem is liked for the same reason. Mm -hmm. Now, you also mentioned at the beginning about mining and inside of Utopia, there's the UAM, the, the alternative miner. Can you talk a little bit about how that functions and why it's beneficial for the ecosystem? Utopia Alternate Miner or UAM is uh, built from scratch with goal of peer-to-peer -peer network optimization. Uh, and it comes with several advantages like speed, stability, performance. As Utopia stability is dependent on the mining nodes, uh, UAM increases the proficiency of the network manifold. Mining nodes, the number of mining nodes, as they increase, the network gets stable it gives efficiency to the network so that is uam is the most important thing in utopia being a decentralized system mm -hmm. more mining nodes means more decentralized stability to the network mm -hmm. definitely and you mentioned there's already so many different functions inside of utopia with messaging file storage all of these things is your community done building or what are the milestones and major development releases that people can expect for Utopia as it continues to grow into 2021? Uh, generally with uh, projects related to crypto, the roadmaps extend over years. Uh, unlike other projects, Utopia delivered a fully functional project. Minor kinks were ironed out in the four month beta period. And now after uh, one year since its launch, Utopia is very stable. Uh, yet the team pushes minor updates to add features and further improve the experience. Uh, however, there are four uh, major uh, milestones the team has their sight on. Uh, Mobile-based Utopia app, third-party code audit, decentralized exchange, and decentralized storage. Mm. Implementing a mobile-based client is not an easy task in a decentralized P2P system, but it will greatly increase user adoption. And uh, Utopia already comes with a fully functional API where any user can implement most of the Utopia function in custom application and services. Users have already developed Telegram uh, bots, uh, which uh, can mirror your chats inside the channels on the Telegram channel. These things are already happening. But through a DEX or a decentralized exchange, reliance on external crypto exchanges will be minimized while the same DEX can be implemented by current users through the provided API. And uh, decentralized storage is another much asked feature. Uh, currently, it is possible to introduce that through the built-in packet forwarding feature, the same way we host any ClearNet website inside Utopia. Uh, but the team has plans to eventually introduce file storage capability as the network matures. Mm -hmm. And that's really interesting. I'm looking forward to seeing the decentralized exchange and other decentralized finance and DeFi applications as it continues to grow. It will be easier and easier to implement that into a decentralized ecosystem like Utopia. So I will watch for that in 2021. Now, Dr. Hack, we're running short on time, but I do have one or two last questions for you. What would you say will be one of the major key success factors to the long-term success of a decentralized system like Utopia? Maintaining the confidence of the community with respect to privacy and security promises of the ecosystem will be an essential factor to the long-term success of the decentralized ecosystem of Utopia. As more security professionals continue to analyze and probe the Utopia software and confirm its outstanding performance, that confidence will continue to build over time. And the secrecy and the security and the private nature of Utopia 
uh, I think this will be the key factor of the long-term success of decentralized ecosystem. Mm -hmm. That's great. Thanks. And what's the best way for users who aren't already involved in the ecosystem to learn more, to get involved, and to get into Utopia? Uh, I'm glad you asked. Uh, to fully uh, understand the true potential of Utopia, I would urge all your viewers, including you, to log on to Utopia ecosystem. Uh, everyone can visit the official website at u.is. And I'm sure people will be surprised by such a short domain, but that's what Utopia is, something unique. And again, I told you, uh, CryptoCoinShow.com and even Chain.io is uh, awaiting your uh, ownership. Great. Well, thank you so much for the time, Dr. Hack. It's been a very interesting discussion, learning about Utopia. All the best with all of the growth in 2021, and let's follow up in the near future. Thank you very much, Ashton. Thank you.